What is the cultural climate in your building? If I came in today as a guest, is it reflective? Would I see me? Because what I see speaks volumes to me. It will tell me that this place and this space is safe. What books are in your library? How do you speak to me? How do you speak about me? In what ways do your classrooms celebrate I mean, this is an opportunity, leaders, transformational leaders, that in this process of evaluating and discussing, we are transitioning. We can reshape the climate. Just go up one degree. What does that look like? Maybe get black scientists on the walls? I don't know. I didn't see any in my science class. Mathematicians, maybe some black mathematicians on the wall. Just raise the climate. Take responsibility for the energy that's in your space. Don't sit back and let things happen to you. Get up and happen to things. Prince of pals. Be a pal. <laughs> that's weak. I know I should have deleted that. <laughs> All I'm saying is that friendship, friendship is partnership. I walked in and a former teacher from Tarantown embraced me because friendship is partnership. You know, a former phys ed uh, is supposed to say today, friendship is partnership. You have 12, if you have 1,200 kids, you have 1,200 individuals. But in order to reach each learner, did you hear that? reach each. We must serve them differently. Get to know them historically. Get to know them culturally. Because when you know the story, you won't be so quick to make judgments and assumptions. It amazes me, Miss Kelly, how people will never talk about my greatness, but they can always identify my greatness. It amazes me how people they will never highlight, huh, well, but they can highlight my condition and my situation. They can talk about my weakness, my craziness, my loneliness, my laziness. I remember uh, the principal at CP Allen telling my mom that I didn't hang out with enough black kids. All my friends were white. They can identify all the craziness. Let's be careful not to focus on the great mess that we forget the greatness. Let's be careful not to judge people's choices when you're clueless to their options. Oh, no. I'm saying it today. <laughs> Let's be careful not to judge people's choices if we're clueless of their options. Because it's possible to be judging a condition and have no understanding of the situation. I'm asking you to be a friend. I'm asking you to be transparent and to raise the expectation because you know what? This is where the rubber hits the road. You can say all the nice things in front of the superintendent. You can even smile and nod at me and give me a little patty cake. But life's is not about, life's not about people who act true to your face. It's about people who remain true behind your back. That's right. Amen. So when you leave this PD and this speech is over, will you be true? Will you speak up for those that can't speak for themselves? Will you ensure that justice is happening in your environment? Because if you remain silent when you see injustice, then might I suggest you may be a little part of the problem. <laughs> Much louder than the words we speak is the attitude we keep. I'm almost done, y'all. Y'all been so good. <laughs> Kindness is so much more than a feeling. It's an action. So I'm asking you, just be kind and invest in people. Be kind because kindness is the language that the blind can see and the deaf can hear. Kindness is the sunshine in which virtue can grow. 
Kindness in your words will create confidence. Kindness in your thinking will create profoundness. Kindness in your giving will create abundance in your learners. Be kind because everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. My last page, Mr. Superintendent. <laughs> A relative of my wife who died very suddenly uh, two years ago, Dr. Miles Monroe, in a tragic airplane with his wife and his associate pastor and youth pastor and musician. He wrote a book on the power of potential. And in that book, Dr. Monroe said, make sure you die empty. I did not understand, die empty. He said, because the wealthiest place on the planets are not the oil fields of Kuwait. He said, the wealthiest place on the planets are not the gold mines of South Africa. But he said, in your local cemeteries. I said, in my local cemetery, what is this boy? He said, that's the wealthiest place on the province because people died full and didn't die empty. He said, six feet below the earth, dreams that never became reality. Songs that were never sung. Paintings that never filled canvas because people died full and didn't die empty. He said, buried beneath the soil are books that have never been written, in inventions that have never been created, songs that have never been sung, and, and, and all the list goes on. He said, because people died full and didn't die empty. I don't know who's approaching retirement. I don't know who's in cruise control. I don't know who's just, any day now, any day now. But I'm telling you, the purpose of life is to live a life of purpose. The purpose of life is to live a life of purpose. Please don't retire full. Please retire empty. Give this education system everything that's still in you. Stir up the gift that's in you and leave a legacy for African Nova Scotia learners. We need you. And I'm here to tell you, you were born with the ability to change someone's life. Don't waste your life. You were born with the opportunity and the ability to change someone's life. Don't waste your life die empty you can make sure that every child live life to the fullest we believe that every child deserves a life in all of its fullness so let's turn our intention into action let's make a wish list and make it a dream list because between the dream and the destiny there's a little drama that's this afternoon <laughs> but make sure you say today this is what I'm going to do. Make sure you say today, this is the challenge to myself. Make sure you say today, this is where I am. This is what I don't know. Make sure you say today, this is where my school is going if I'm at the helm. Because a step in the right direction can change someone's life for the rest of their life. You are a transformational leader. And I pray God empower you for the journey. Thank you so much.